Hello each and every one of you out there. I am the Dance Alive Dancer. And the story that I'm bringing to you tonight is a story of how someone can help somebody. How someone reaches out when somebody's in trouble. It's the kind of story that I like to air. And I, first of all, you know that uh, someone stole my money and my wallet out of my car on the 20th. Friday the 20th when I was in St. Louis and took all my money, all my wallet, my mo everything out of it and I didn't have anything except five dollars and something. Well, this lady came by and you're going to see the video because she talks on here and she took up a collection for me and we went to the Metrolink station at Hanley and we, she gave me the money and stuff and other people gave me money too. So she wasn't the only one, there was some others too. And, um, I wish to thank, first of all, Chris, Nancy, Kim, Teresa, and Mary Kay. And Chris is the one that got the, um, she's the one that came to me that night. She was the calm down factor in the whole thing. She was the one that did the, um, donation. She's the one that contacted these people. And she's the one that, uh, put the whole thing together. In addition to the names I read off to you, also, a big one we almost forgot, and we don't want to forget about her, is Stephanie, who donated and got the most money together. I really, really, really wish to thank her, and with all of my heart, I really wish to thank her, in addition to all the rest of the people that have donated to uh, this um, cause. So, Stephanie... A personal thanks to you and Nancy and all of the rest of them. So, thank you. Um, also, I wish I wish to thank um, Kelly, I think her name is, at the um, physical therapy department, who also gave me donated money, and the two ladies up at Mount Vernon yesterday, who also donated me money. So I got all the money back. All the money's been replaced. I can't get the drivers, the um, pictures and all that stuff back, but all the money's been replaced thanks to these people, thanks to the Divine Force up there. And um, I wish for you to watch this story in its entirety, because I she talks on there, and all and I'll tell you something this is the kind of story I like to air because this is the kind of story of one person helping another this is the kind of story of what it means to be the dance of life to act like the dance of life to share and help somebody that's in trouble that's what the dance of life is actually about and I'll tell you something, it, wasn't a, it was not a good weekend. But thanks to this lady and her donation, and thanks to Chris, Nancy, Kim, Teresa, Mary Kay, Kelly at the um, Physical Therapy Department, and um, the other two ladies whose name I didn't get at the Mount Vernon yesterday. Thanks to all of those people, the money's been replaced, and it restores my faith in humanity again. That someone can be nice out there. Someone can actually reach out and help somebody, like the Dance of Life preaches. Like I've been preaching, year after year after year after year. So, this story ends well, that, oh, that ends well. And you watch the video, because it's going to be in its entirety. In t me getting on the, me with the train, on the train, and her talking at the end of it and everything. So you want to want to watch this video all the way to the end. Because this is one of the better videos that I like to air. Besides all of that chase stuff and all. I really don't want to have to chase to watch. To um, do that all the time. Thank for the goodness. I don't have to do that tonight yet. I don't know what will happen by the time I get home. But I thank all these people in the sweet name of Jesus. For all of this help. And I'm sure blessings will come upon them many times over. So, thank you for all of this and all the help. Please watch the video. It is from the Dance of Life Dancer. And I wish each and every one of you to follow suit. To help your neighbor. To help somebody in trouble. Because when they left me at 8.30 on Friday the 20th. With no money or nothing. She also put $10 worth of gas in my car. Hey. I'm telling you something. 
That's what it means to help somebody when they're in trouble. I would do the same for them. So, thank you and each and every one of you. And now, please, watch the video in its entirety. And from end to end. Because this is the video you're going to want to see. It's a nice video. So, watch it. All you people out there that like the drama, watch this video. Because this is the video I want you to see. Thank you, good night, from the Dance of Life. <laughs> How you doing? Oh my gosh, I had to come from the other side of town. Yeah. Wow. Okay. How you doing? Put it in your purse right now. Yes. I'm sitting here making sure nobody's looking. You had a ticket to get back already? Yeah. Okay, well then put them in there too. So that's the five so you can get back. Well, I thank you for everything, you know? No. Nope. I mean, I don't know what to say, you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Pay it forward if you ever get the chance. Do you want to do a little little speech or something on here? That's up to you, sweetheart. What do you want me to do? Hello, each and every one of you. I am the Dancing Life Dancer right here. And this dear sweet lady is the one that helped <laughs> me the other day when I lost my, when my wallet was stolen on Friday night. Hi. Say something about it. Well... I'm happy that I met Susan and was able to help her and be an advocate for her in speaking to law enforcement. I personally witnessed uh, what happened and witnessed that the police also saw the video and verified that someone did break into her vehicle. I know some of you are skeptical and thinking it didn't happen. Well, it did happen. And um, people are too quick to judge. You know, Susan lost uh, the last little bit of money she had. And I feel very blessed that some of my friends were able to uh, come up with some spare change. And I'm here at the Metro League station today meeting Susan, the Dance of Life dancer, uh, giving her a small donation to help her get back on her feet in order to have something uh, to her next uh, check. And um, I'm just glad that I met her. She's a lovely lady. And um, thank you, Susan. And this is the dear sweet lady that came to me that night when I was all falling to pieces here. She's the one that helped me. She's the one that oh, kept things back something. in order again. I do want to say one more thing, Susan. Oh. Oh. Okay, and here she is again <laughs> with other people that helped. Um, I also want to thank my very good friends Nancy, Kim, Teresa, and Mary Kay uh, for their very generous donations and helping Susan get back on her feet. I'm very blessed to have such great friends and I appreciate all their assistance as well. Thank you. And I also want to thank all of those people she just mentioned because without them, I don't know what I would do. I mean, she came to me at the time when I was the lowest and I believe she was sent to me. Let me ask you something. What brought you to that area that night? Um, I'm an Uber driver. What's, and, what's um, an Uber I driver? Oh, I do Lyft and Uber. It's ride share, kind of like a taxi cab, but I provide my own vehicle. And I had stopped by there uh, on my way home back to uh, Florissant. And like I was saying, I saw what was going on. And I could tell that you were very distraught and upset. And I just felt the calling to uh, come over and see what I could do to help you. Uh, I very much thank you for that because I do recall you saying there was others there that were taking videos and stuff like yes, that. Yes, Susan. Unfortunately, there were others taking video, and um, it was very upsetting to me. And I asked them to please stop. And you know, remember the policeman and the guy that was at the gas station who uh, who was yelling at me were, well, and wasn't helping me. Right, you were very upset, and they didn't know how to handle that. And I've, uh, you know, like I said, you called me the the calm down factor. That's right. Um, so I was able to come over and try to help you out by calming you down. I'm glad I was able to help you. And I am glad to. Thank you. You're welcome. And I thank you all out there for all your help in this city for our help. We are leaving right now. 
on the train and no idea if any of that worked or not I'll find out when I get home I guess anyway I am the dancing light camp right here we are leaving Hanley station right now you've seen how that worked and you'll both follow me here for a short time all right, here I am, the dance alive dancer. I am on the train. I am on the train, and we're going to a station in St. Louis, Umsel, and we're supposed to be picking up some uh, donations money that was donated to me because of my stolen wallet. So here we are going. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, it's no matter how we go, it's, it's bound to be interesting. So, anyway, that's what we're doing. So, um, here I am on the train. Uh, here we are with another train. It's a Metronic. I'm on the Metro train. I actually had to buy a ticket. I, I haven't done that in like nine years. I have a dancer pet pass. But they stole it, so... Anyway, here we are at, uh, what station is this? Fairby Heights. Alright, everybody, I am here at the Hanley Station. And we are going to find out, uh, just what happens here. So, never actually been, I've never, act don't think I ever stopped at this station before. They don't even have seats on the other side, they only got them on this side. I don't see any on the other side. And put this down. And we're gonna see how this, who, you know, if this lady shows up or not. I mean, I guess that's the station there. I don't know. Never been here before, so. There's the date and time that we're on, out here. It's flickering. But anyway, we'll see what happens. There's nothing but a thing on that side. So. For me to get to life, we will figure Okay, we are at the Hanley Station right now. I don't know how long this is going to take for her to get here, but... Um... I've actually never been here. I guess that's this... I don't know what that building is, but I guess that's a station. I don't know. No station, huh? They got no place to use the bathroom in there, huh? Okay, well, anyway, I'm here at... Bus station right there. Buses. And we are at the Hanley Station. We're gonna figure... We're gonna see how this goes today. So, um... It's going to be interesting. Um, Alright then. We shall wait and see what happens. Yeah, I know. Like, he was, it's like he was asking for it, too. Yeah, I'm minding my own business. Yeah, that's why I said when I saw the video, I just see him like this on the ground. <laughs> I mean, I'm dying, bro. Like, he told you to... 
Hello, each and every one of you. I am the dancing wife dancer right here. And this dear sweet lady is the one that helped me the other day when I lost my, when my wallet was stolen on Friday night. Hi. Say something about it. Well, I'm happy that I met Susan and was able to help her and be an advocate for her in speaking to law enforcement. I personally witnessed uh, what happened and witnessed that the police also saw the video and verified that someone did break into her vehicle. I know some of you are skeptical and thinking it didn't happen. Well, it did happen. And um, people are too quick to judge. You know, Susan lost uh, the last little bit of money she had. And I feel very blessed that some of my friends were able to uh, come up with some spare change. And I'm here at the Metro League Station today meeting Susan, the Dance Life Dancer, uh, giving her a small donation to help her get back on her feet in order to have something uh, to her next uh, check. And um, I'm just glad that I met her. She's a lovely lady. And um, thank you, Susan. And this is the sweet lady that came to me that night when I was all falling to pieces here. She's the one that helped me, the one that oh, kept things back something. in order again. I do want to say one more thing, Susan. Oh, oh. Okay, and here she is again <laughs> with other people that helped. Um, I also want to thank my very good friends, Nancy, Kim, Teresa, and Mary Kay. Uh, for their very generous donations and helping Susan get back on her feet. I'm very blessed to have such great friends and I appreciate all their assistance as well. Thank you. And I also want to thank all of those people she just mentioned because without them, I don't know what I would do. I mean, she came to me at the time when I was the lowest and I believe she was sent to me. Let me ask you something. What brought you to that area that night? Um, I'm an Uber driver. What's, and, what's um, an Uber I driver? Oh, I do Lyft and Uber. It's ride share, kind of like a taxi cab, but I provide my own vehicle. And I had stopped by there uh, on my way home back to uh, Florissant. And like I was saying, I saw what was going on. And I could tell that you were very distraught and upset. And I just felt the calling to uh, come over and see what I could do to help you. And uh, I very much thank you for that because I do recall you saying there was others there that were taking videos and stuff like yes, that. Yes, Susan. Unfortunately, there were others taking video, and um, it was very upsetting to me. And I asked them to please stop. And you know, remember the policeman and the guy that was at the gas station who uh, who was yelling at me were, well, and wasn't helping me. Right, you were very upset, and they didn't know how to handle that. And I've, uh, you know, like I said, you called me the the calm down factor. That's right. Um, so I was able to come over and try to help you up by calming you down. I'm glad I was able to help you. And I am glad to. Thank you. You're welcome. And I thank you all out there for all your help in this city for her help. We are leaving right now on the train. And no idea if any of that worked or not. I'll find out when I get home, I guess. Anyway, I am the dancing white dance right here. We are leaving Hanley Station right now. You've seen how that worked. And you will to follow me here for a short time. Okay, as I said, I am the dancing white dancer. Here we are. You are going to follow me as I open this. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but... Hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got here. It says from Chris, Nancy, Kim, Teresa, and Mary Kay. This is the donation money from these people for the wallet. Oh my goodness. And this extra five for the ticket. And we're going to put it away right in here. And seal it. And don't forget this. Or this. Oh, don't drop it. I am going 
to check right now how much this is and everything. And I'll take you along with me. I'm not going to tell you what it is, of course, but we're going to check it. So we'll get this here to work without something falling apart. Okay. That's my train ticket. And we are arriving someplace here. Wellston. We got a long way to go on this thing. But anyway, I am the dancer like dancer right here right now. We just left the handling station and this is an incredible story of good human human kindness. Unlike I've seen before, because usually I see the other kind. But here we are on the train. Don't let me forget that. And um well, we're going to run this story tonight, besides the uh, other stories, so, thank you for joining me. And, wait for this. Good night, happy days, from the Dance and Life Dancer. at the park. Emerson Park. left here. We are at Moore Hospital Station and we are headed back for the car. Or the van I should say. That's the train leaving. Right there. And we are heading back uh, for the car. So we're going along with me here because it isn't that far of a trip. 654. See it up there? And you've seen that. And it was, I told you a very interesting story. Uh, all the money's been replaced. Plus more. And uh, we are going to do a story tonight about this. And 
we're going to be talking about this and uh, we are leaving right here at the station um, Memorial Hospital so but you're gonna follow me with me you're gonna walk with me here right back to my van and this is gonna be the good humor story of the year the good-hearted story of the year I mean um, so um, very very interesting story today as I talk about I am the dancer like monster right here today and it's cold outside today there's a train station we just left right there we'll pick up where we left off at okay so I'm going back to my van right now and uh, we got the steps to do here not going to be uh, that'll be all right okay follow me up the steps still got my broken femur here it hasn't went any place okay Although it's doing better, so that's good. This has been one very interesting day, I can tell you that. And it isn't done yet. We still gotta do Mr. Grimm tonight too. So, okay. More steps. Whew. Okay. And we got the bus there. We are continuing. There's the van. There's the bus. We're off for two and two here. As I said, you're walking with me to my van right here today there's a bus right there and this is where we just left so whoa there's my van I guess you can see it I know this dark it isn't going to show too good, but that's okay. You can hear me talk. So, here we are at the van. We are at the van right there. And here we are. We have made it back. So, glory for that. We are getting into the van, right here, and that's all the night. Stay tuned for the next time. We are done. Thank you for joining me, and this is a beautiful story.